let's let's bring in Dylan because a lot of people are wondering how is the weather going to cooperate? Well, we do have the storm that we're looking at right before Thanksgiving. It should clear out in time for Thursday, but a lot of folks traveling before then. So as we get into the weekend, this is going to be the storm that's going to bring a significant amount of rain through the Plain States, especially as we go into Sunday and Monday. Heavy rain through Texas, down through Arkansas, down along the Gulf Coast, through the Ohio and Mississippi River Valleys. Then as we go into Tuesday, a lot of that heavy rain is going to take hold of the eastern third of the country with heavy rain expected across the eastern Great Lakes. Gusty winds on top of that in New England. We could start with some snow before it changes over to some rain. And then on Wednesday, this cold front will clear the east coast, still bringing a lot of heavier rain through the morning before it exits. And then on the back side of it, temperatures tumble enough so that we have lake effect snow taking hold back through Erie, Pennsylvania into Buffalo, up into Syracuse off of Lake Ontario. We will start to see increasing sunshine, but it's certainly going to be chilly. So as we go through the Tuesday, Wednesday travel time frame, that's where we're looking at some strong storms down south, heavy rain up and down the east coast. And again, that snow in New England before it changes over to some rain. So it is going to be messy leading up to Thanksgiving, guys. All right, we'll keep checking in. Dylan, thank you. We turn now. Miss Dylan Dreyer, get a check of the weather. Hey, Do you Dylan. practice it I know. at home? The flip. When do you in the know backyard? that you're safe? Me, yeah, it's <sighs> never going to happen. All right, well, let's take a look at what's going on today where we do have some heavier rain expected through parts of uh, the eastern Great Lakes, stretching down into uh, southeastern Ohio, out ahead of this cold front. Nice and sunny, but chilly back behind this front. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s. We are looking for a really nice day up and down the east coast, though. Temperatures today, about 15 degrees above average, topping out in the 60s and 70s. That's a look at the weather across the country. We'll get to your local forecast in the next 30 seconds. <laughs> Traveling this weekend, especially as we get towards the end of the weekend. Today, though, your trouble spots will be right up into New York, into northwestern Pennsylvania, stretching down into uh, Tennessee and Kentucky, too. It's mild back through the middle of the country today, and a secondary system is going to develop out west, and that is going to bring some rain and wind to the west coast. Now, tomorrow, we are looking for much cooler temperatures back behind that cold front. Might start, start off with a few scattered showers, some sprinkles in the northeast, and then as we go into Sunday, most of that is all going to clear out, but we might see a couple of uh, travel delays, especially out west towards the Rockies, where uh, we're starting to see that snow take hold, so that could cause some delays in, say, the Denver area. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. A look at the holiday week forecast. Some years it works, some years it doesn't. And it looks like this year we are going to see most of our uh, bad weather on Tuesday and Wednesday leading up to Thanksgiving. Here's the storm system as we look into next week. This is going to move into the uh, southeast and into the Gulf Coast as we go into Sunday and Monday time frame. We could see some stronger storms. We'll also see the chance of some heavier rain from Texas right through uh, Louisiana into Mississippi, especially as we go into Monday night and Tuesday. Then that heavy rain rises rides up the East Coast. It impacts areas across the Eastern Great Lakes through the Ohio and Mississippi River Valleys. We could even see it start as some snow before it changes over to rain across New England. And then on Wednesday, it'll continue to exit the East Coast. So later in the day, Wednesday, the weather looks a little bit better, but it gets very windy, much colder, and that's going to trigger some lake effect snow up near Cleveland into Erie, Pennsylvania, Buffalo into Syracuse. So the gist of Tuesday, Wednesday, heavy rain moving into the Southeast, some snow, and then some rain in the Northeast. But for Thanksgiving itself, it does look like things will mostly clear out besides the lake effect snow. We're looking at lots of sunshine almost from coast to coast and much colder, though, back through the Rockies. Hoda. Uh, Dylan, thank you so much. Let's move now to weather. Hey, Dylan. Good morning again, everyone. We do have a little bit of rain in the forecast for today, especially up across eastern Ohio, western Pennsylvania, into uh, western New York. Even West Virginia could see a little bit of that light rain today. It's out ahead of this cold front that is going to clear things out, but drop temperatures as we go into this afternoon. We're looking for highs mostly in the 40s and 50s, and that next storm system making its way onshore out in California, that's going to make its way east and impact the travel leading up to Thanksgiving. That's a look at the weather across the country now here's a peek out your window you want to say al's line here well it is the best part of the day yeah, yeah. I don't know that, thank you appreciate it for yeah, yeah. here's the thing a travis kelsey taylor swift duet that oh. would, well because he can oh. sing yeah because he's yeah. like no i mean how much more can we take <laughs> yes. every hey. harry styles the pop yo next up dolly Parton, Molly in the rock and roll hall yeah. of fame yeah. he's like no 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 i'm not rock and roll I can't yeah. now we're at the point now where she she's got the rock and roll record yeah. singing the stone she's in the hall the whole thing's changed uh, last year, Pink and Brandy. Yeah, just, just watch it. I'm just glad you and Blake oh, are still together. I know. I like that. 119 million Americans watched that show last Monday, so thank you. Yay! Wow. No, that's wow. not. No, wait a minute. That's 119. That's what they told me. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Just ahead, we have another Hollywood super.
person. We are back with our wildly popular series, <laughs> Asked and Answered. It is not just popular, wildly popular. Wildly. We have some viewer questions for our dynamic doctor duo, NBC News. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing? Okay, so I let's get... my super suit. Yeah. 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 Let's At get right into our viewer That's questions. Cool. All right, this first one is from Annette in Mayo Peck, New York. Hi, Dr. True. The CDC recommends that most of us get our flu shot by the end of October. Okay. My son is coming home. Greet him at the door. With <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, let's go to CVS. Um, and then the big question is, can we get the COVID shots together? You may actually boost your response to oh. the COVID shot. Mm. And about a year ago, we had a study that actually showed that if you get your COVID six months, okay. we want to also recommend a COVID shot for everybody six months and older. And we also have the RSV. We have the monoclonal antibody for kids up to eight months, 0.2, because we didn't have it on the graph that there is the vaccine, the RSV vaccine, for pregnant women mm -hmm. between the months of September and January between 32 and 36 weeks. COVID testing is still out there, and it still has a use, especially if, crowd, if I'm in a crowded subway, and especially if I hear people transmit these things to yourself. Next question comes from Sierra, right here in New York City. Hi, doctor. So it's out there because they don't have the protection, the natural protection other people do. But regardless, the vaccine's important for everyone to get. I got my booster about a month ago, so okay. it's just important to get. You said you never had COVID. I don't know. All right, lastly, really quickly, let's go to Tiffany. Oh, I don't think we have time. Oh, we don't have time for Tiffany? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany. Next, next time. time. Next time. All right, thank you, guys. You thank, thank you, you. dynamic <laughs> duo. All right, coming up on the third hour of today, experts from three different faiths sit down together to talk about a common practice that could lead to a better life. Mm -hmm. But first, actor and comedian Aqu are joined by a Golden Globe winning actor, writer, and producer. You know Aquafina from her work in Sandra O oh in Quiz Lady, in which Aquafina plays Anne, a trivia buff who is forced to pay off her mother's gambling debts the only way she knows how, by becoming a quiz show champion. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> that is so comforting to people. Well, I think... I don't know what's going to happen, either. Yeah. You know? it's, yeah. it's unpredictable. Yeah. Um, as we just saw there in that clip, you're still... Voice acting. Uh... You've done bird voices several times. Several. Many... We Why am I the bird? We need someone to voice over a bird. <laughs> yeah. Got it. <laughs> All right. We got the person. So, we know you're a quiz master. So, we've prepared... We've prepared... Uh, okay, maybe, yeah. I'm not, maybe I'm not a quiz lady, if you will. All right. Yeah. Question number one. Okay. Uh, really? Really? Yes. You thought, yeah. You, like we mentioned earlier, you're the voice of uh, the chump. <laughs> chump the pigeon. <laughs> yes. Not the chump. <laughs> chump the pigeon of migration. All right, so here we go. Name the three U.S. cities. Okay, question they just three. told me question three. Sorry, next one. Let's see if you can. We're going to try something here. Okay. The category is 90s movies. Okay. Which 1997 film star? Three is enough. Oh, one out of two. Works for us. Yeah. Thank I'm you so, so much. I didn't Thank even you. know my own state. <laughs> so That's there true. you go. What's the secret to a more fulfilling life? Experts from different faiths discussing one common practice when we come back. With less than a week until Thanksgiving now, we thought it would be a, a fitting time to have a little conversation about gratitude with faith leaders. And we have morning. some of our favorite friends here this morning. I was just telling them we love when they come. We have Rabbi Melissa Byer with me. Coming up next on the third hour of today, we are supersizing your next winter getaway. Whether you want to get into the holiday spirit or unwind on a winter escape, we have some destinations you certainly don't want to miss. So here to walk us through is... I love, you know, you just see the pictures on Instagram of just these beautiful winter getaways. So what's like a classic wintry, snowy getaway? Activities to keep Keep all the kids happy mm. and the adults as well. Uh, yeah. Santa visits, bright lights, festive events, and then the place is a winter wonderland in the Midwest in Marquette County. Yes, so Marquette Carrier and the downtown area, just a wonderful really option. Cool. Yeah, so I know. Where are we going? All right, we'll be right back. All right, coming up on Monday on the third hour of today, need some gift ideas for the holidays? We have the best products of the year from Consumer Reports. Coming up on Hoda and Jenna, actor and author Lauren Graham is joining them. Your mission this weekend is simple, folks. Have a fantastic one. Oh, I love that. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Give me a hug.